Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Lourdes. Welcome. And today we're going to be going through a new Alphalete review. This collection is called the Aura Collection. And I got a few pieces so that I can try it on and give you guys my honest review. If you were thinking about buying this collection, everything, and I mean pretty much everything, is still available in store. And I just wanted to go through some pieces with you. For those of you who are like me, somewhere in between sizes, I'm somewhere between a small and a medium and I just wanted to go ahead and give you guys my review if it's helpful to you then just stick around and I'm just gonna be giving you a ton of details maybe Alphalete is a new brand to you and you just want to see what they have to offer well I'm here to help you do that and I hope that this somehow helps you to figure out whether or not you want to give this brand a try or at least give this launch this collection a try because they do have a lot of interesting things to offer in this collection but I will give you a tip a little pointer as Black Friday gets closer and closer usually Alphalete does really really good black friday sales so if i were you i would just hold off that's when you have at it because usually those support codes or discount codes that i'll be putting down in the description box for you those codes will apply to the sale that's already there however that's how it was last year so i want you to keep that in mind when you look over this review and think oh i really have to have those flare leggings oh my god i have to try that shrug or the t-shirt the anything that you keep in mind that you that you want to try out just take my advice wait just two or three more weeks and all of this stuff will be on sale and we're gonna be going through this collection tons of detail because that's what I like to do I like to go through every little detail I'm not an OCD person but I think I come close because when I try on things I like for them to fit perfectly and I nitpick at anything and if it doesn't go my way if it's not okay in my head then it goes right back so you're gonna be seeing th this collection with a couple of tags so I'm sorry but guys sometimes we just need to return some stuff so I'll try to you know work around the tag situation so bear with me so this collection includes a lot of things so shrugs t-shirts not t-shirts but you know like cropped shirts we have leggings we have flares we have shorts we're gonna be going through camel toe squat test rolling up on the thighs for the shorts rolling down on the waistband for the leggings and the shorts and the flares everything so stick around for my 100 honest review and if you like this video and if you find it helpful to you please consider subscribing and liking this video maybe turning on the notification bell so that you get notifications when the next review is up i usually do tons of athleisure although you might see a couple of things here and there that don't really match the niche but i like to keep my channel open to several things not just one specific thing although the majority of this channel you will see athleisure athletic wear maybe dresses and clothing and stuff like that so without further ado let's get into this aura collection and hopefully it'll blow our minds because lord knows we need an awesome alpha league collection <laughs> stay tuned okay so right around here i'm gonna be posting we'll do like a split screen where you guys will see the full pdf of everything that this collection has to offer that includes colors styles the shorts the flares guys there's even stuff for men so if you're interested in buying something for your man for your brother for your dad for your son for whoever it is that you might want to buy a cool alpha elite t-shirt nice and comfy and flowy and breathable stick around and we're going to be going through as much as we can possibly do however i didn't get on this collection any men's things but in this pdf you will find that so the first thing we're gonna go with is this famous bandeau and i'm not gonna lie to you i've already tried it on and i've already formed an opinion of it on my head but i have not tested it to the standards of which i test things on this channel so we're gonna be getting into that like brutal right now so so this bandeau is 36 dollars, and if you use one of the codes that i'm gonna put down there in the description box this is the third time i mentioned this description box but it's down there so you 
you guys can use it and it'll save you 10%. This bundle, $36 and with that code, it'll go down to $32.40. Sorry, that doesn't include tax, but so here's the bundle. So if you see, this is like a curvature. I'm gonna show it to you from the back because you'll see it better. It curves all the way on the top. Okay, but it only has, in order for this bandeau to stay up, this has no cup pads, this has no support. The bottom stitch, which is supposed to be the one that keeps you in place down here, this bottom stitch is kind of weak. It's not very strong, it is stretchy. The material is super soft. However, without any cup pads or any real stronger stitching, I'm not sure what you would call that. I felt like this is kind of weak and it was just gonna slide down. Also, another thing to mention all bras in this collection are meant from a to b size cups and that's it so those of us who are a little bit bigger and those of us with larger chest what can i tell you we're screwed it's not for us i'm a c so let's see how this fits uh, let's get back to the detail first because i just went off so it has this little silicone as you can see that little silicone is what's supposed to keep it up here. And then down below, there's no other silicone. On the other side, it's nothing. It's just this band. It does say alphalete right here, but it's tonal, so it's not such a big deal to see. If you spot it on yourself while you're wearing it, you know, that's probably as far as it's gonna go. And that's pretty much it. There's not much to it. This is a medium. I went with a medium for this one. I don't know if I mentioned that. I'm pretty sure I didn't. I decided to go with a medium because I saw a lot of influencers and athletes saying that their regular size was just not up to par. And since I already knew knew that this was not gonna work for me because most bandos don't work for me. I just thought I'm gonna go with a medium. So that's what I did. I went with a medium and let's just try it on and see how this goes. Guys, I don't know. I don't even think that for a bathing suit this is acceptable because my the water would just hit me and my breast would just... Hello! Hello everybody! Let me see if I can adjust this. Like guys, like I said, like I'm pushing it. I'm pushing it. This is A, this entire collection, bra sizes is A to B, A to B, or maybe even below A. This is not, it's not working for us at C cups and above. I'm gonna try to put in the cup pads to see if that helps at all. It doesn't help. This is the same, it's the same thing. Okay, so now I have cup pads in here thinking that somehow it would give me a little bit of more protection or I didn't imagine it would give me boost but there is no cup pads in here so I keep fidgeting with it I can't help it there, there's no support there's absolutely no support if they had made this a little bit tighter or with more silicone because this does have silicone as I showed when I presented it to you guys for the first time it has silicone but it barely even touches your skin because it's like folding over can you see it's like barely there I don't have a good impression on this bra I wouldn't even say true to size or anything I would just say just skip it <laughs> here's how it looks in the back of course it's flattering because it's just bare open back it's a bandeau so yeah of course it's gonna flatter the back there is nothing tight anywhere I, I'm not even gonna jump like this is all I'm doing and I feel like I'm slowly coming down look at that and then if I pull it up then I have boob exposure underneath this is a no this is an absolutely no <sighs> What else can I tell you? The fabric is soft. It says Alphalete right here. It's under the mic. There you go. It says Alphalete right there. It looks great with the flare pants. Very cute with the flare pants. As a matchy matchy set. But this is barely, this is not something I would go for. I hate to say it. I wish I could offer more information. It's just a very simple, you know what, maybe augmented breasts. Because I don't have augmented breasts. These are my breasts. So I don't have any augmentation. Maybe if you had, maybe this would be better. However, I just think it's a cup size thing. Not a cup size thing, a size thing. What I mean to say is like, 
This collection is only made for A to B sizes, so anything C and above is just kind of ignored. We could try to put ourselves in here, but this is not attractive at all. There's nothing else I can say. Okay, next up we have the Aura Strappy Bra. So this little bra, guys, I don't know what to say. Take a look at this. This is what it looks like in the front cute but this is a size medium it's a size medium and it looks like so itty bitty i i don't know i just worry about things like these you know like is it really for me let me not judge it and just wear it okay i like the strappiness love the fact that it is super strappy i can't even show it to you here because you won't be able to see it until i'm finally wearing it little adjustable straps on both sides this to me is gold like this is literal gold to me like you can't you can't do better than little straps in the back of any bra i guess they finally learned their lesson after that alpha lux alpha Alpha bra, what is it called? Um, uh, I can't remember. I can't remember the name, but we had like a cute Y bra from Alpha Lee like a year ago it was alpha Lux, and oh my god that bra was amazing and it just did not have these little straps so it would cut into your traps it was a halter so much that it would bring your neck down unbearable unbearable i'm pretty sure everybody returned it so i guess they learned their lesson because this is very skinny so it could cut into your traps but if you can just adjust that in the back and have this super strappy sexy bra and you did a great job so that's great i feel like it's missing something it's missing bra pads <laughs> there are no bra pads so there's no help for you there but remember all of these were created for a to b cups that's it's just so sad for the rest of us <laughs> It does have the Alpha Lee logo right there. I'm not sure if you can see it because it's very, very tonal and with white, it's hard to see. There is no lane separating your boobs or anything like that. It's not gonna help you out there. Basic strappy bra, medium size because I figured, I know I'm not gonna wear this to work out. Not like a heavy workout, you know, but the strappiness did entice me and I figured let's just go with the flow and see what, what happens. So, and yeah. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Let's see how it looks. Okay, and here we have this little bra. And boy, do I have opinions about this little bra. Okay, so I wanna show it to you guys before I put on the mic so you guys can see like a clean version. But I do wanna show you how it looks just like this. As you see it, it looks super cute. What you don't see is that right underneath, my breasts are not fitting. And this is a size medium. So my recommendation, first off, they are not true to size. Go a size up. And my regular size is medium in sports bras. However, this sports bra is a medium and does not fit me, as you can see. Like I said earlier, I usually size down in sports bras that I see myself using as I see myself working out in. This provides no support. And therefore, I would normally size up, even if it's just to see, even if it's just to test it out to see how how this looks, how it would fit. So in my circumstance, I feel like not only is it very cleavagey, but it doesn't offer enough support down here. Although I do know what they're trying to do. They're kind of trying to do what that curve bra did from Buff Bunny, which they did very, very well. They could have just done with a little bit more fabric. But another thing, again, to remember, with this collection is that Alpha Elite made it just for A to B size cup. Me fitting in my C's is just, yeah, it's too much. There's no cup pads here at all. So what I would do, I got my two cup pads. These are cup pads from my Buff Bunny Bloom Bra. And there you have somewhat of a cover. It is double lined. No, that's not enough. I need to have some actual support. I'm not saying my nipples are like 
stingers or spears, but two linings is not good enough for some people. For me, it's not good enough. So these thin straps go all the way up and they do cross over your traps. Seeing how it's thin, it could cut into you. So take a note of that. It could cut into you if you wear it for a long time. But here is the only part that I do like about the sports bra, the back, because wow i mean let's fix it up so it looks pretty isn't that nice i mean what a back like I, i'm not particularly a fan of my own back <laughs> i think that i i'm a little bit too full right now in my life so i would like to have dropped about i don't know seven or eight pounds would be fine with me but it even makes my somewhat larger back look good that is nice and i have to say really really nice i'm a fan of this back it is also adjustable i'm sure you can see you can loosen it down here however since it's just two thin straps it could still cut into you it just depends on you and how heavy breasted you are if you're a c like me or if you're an a to b if you're an a to b you're good i will do a tiny jog very light support i don't even have to do a jog in order to show you light support see how i already fixed them and there they are again fixing this situation this is just what you're gonna get if i had sized up to a large i feel like it would be too much i think that i would probably just skip over this one let's go into the armpit section it's doing pretty good not cutting in at all and the bottom is obviously stretchy it's so stretchy that my boobs are trying to pop out from under and it does give you plenty of cleavage you can see my pad now this is just a bra to fiddle with honestly it's a bra that you're going to be fiddling with <sighs> what can you do for me over the side it is not doing that at all I'll go this way, but I feel like the mic is covering. So if you see anything, it's just like the most minimal amount. So, okay, and yeah, that's about it for this bra. Okay, next up we have the Aura Sculpt Bra. And this one is $48, but with that discount code, it'll be $43.20. And the color I got is porcelain. So this one, I also got medium. So usually I am, I feel like I should explain. I usually use a small for bras that I feel like I will use at the gym that will offer me support. So any sports bra that I buy that I feel like I'm going to use at the gym, I usually buy those small. If I know that it's all for nothing, it, this this is just a comfort bra or a lounging bra or something else something that i know i don't need that much support in because i'm not going to be jumping around or doing cardio hit classes or anything like that then i usually go for a medium for so something softer something more relaxed something to wear but not expect so much support from so if you are a c cup like myself c cup and above remember they made these bras with not us in mind they pretty much made these bras only for A to B cups. So I went with a medium thinking that, you know, this is going to be teeny tiny. And it kind of looks wide. I'm not sure, but it kind of looks a little wide to me. So this is in the color porcelain also. I tried to get some matchy matchy sets. Straight up and down. The back has got like a nice simple scoop. The logo, I hope you can see that. That Alphalete logo is right there. It's tonal, so it's very disguised, very well disguised. The front is kind of like a scoop, but then ends up in a V right in the front, which is really nice. One thing to note about these is that there is no cup pads at all. So you're on your own here. Either you wear the nipple covers or you take a, a cup pad from somewhere else and you put it on. So it is a nice soft material, just like everything else from this launch. This is a very nice and soft brush fabric I fear that it might be easy to pill but honestly a sports bra unless you're wearing it all day every day is very difficult I feel like it's hard for a sports bra to pill and so yeah so there's not much detail to give about this one it's just a simple up and down bra so we're just gonna go ahead and try it on now so this is the bra that I had most hope for and it looks like it's another fail to me just because I barely have coverage I just want coverage like 
please cover my under boob like i get having a cleavage moment but do you have to take away from my under boob and then there's another thing that is that this is tight under my armpit Ugh, all right we're gonna go one one at a time because i'm just i'm ranting i'm, I'm all over the place you know more organized effort here we have that simple up and down aura bra it does look good however i don't feel like there's enough material to cover you underneath the scoop is very nice the cleavage is acceptable there's it's not so bad you know it is it's really not and then on the arm i feel like it's cutting into me right here not cutting into me like a lot but it's covering more than it should on the right side we have the same but strangely enough this one this side feels a little more free than this side can you explain that to me just take a look at it comes up to here right and then look at this one this one's higher why is this one higher i mean i know i know we all have one breast that's larger than the other but what's going on here i've never had this problem with any other bra all right next we have a simple up and down very comfortable i am not being cut into at all it has nice thick straps the material is nice and soft if you look over to the side you can see a little bit of breast spilling out here mostly my left because my lefty is bigger than my righty so so it's mostly my left the one that's spilling up a bit not so bad the back the back is a nice simple scoop it kind of reminds me of the faith bra from patula however the one from patula had like a thick band underneath which did give you a lot of support but also did cut into you a little bit in this one nothing cuts in everything sits nice you feel the logo i feel the logo is right here but it's tonal so that's a great thing and we're gonna give it a little jump i would say light support not medium I stay in place I'm not popping out but it's light but mostly the one thing that bothers me is this down here there's no cup pads that's how it looks I feel like it gives me even a little bit more boost but geez you can really see that down there like can't you good lord yeah so <laughs> I feel like I covered all the bases and just from me talking I feel like you guys know my opinion I feel like this bra is on another note another note I would like for it to have a little bit more fabric down here and i mean the top is not so bad it does have cleavage but that's not even my main problem my main problem is this down here and for them to fix this this situation i don't know what's going on here my right side feels free my left side feels imprisoned not a good thing another good thing my neck is free my back is free i don't have to worry about anything cutting into my traps nothing is cutting into my shoulders my back is totally free so that's great maybe this one you could use it to lounge because it is a very nice soft material however i don't know guys i see myself returning this okay and we have arrived to the shrug section so i did get two of these they are both in size medium i got a white one and a black one because i didn't know which one i would like more so white is very difficult for me because white stains so easily on me and black i love black but sometimes i get so tired of wearing black because i'm always trying to be safe and but there are colors that are matching these leggings uh, they have the, they have it in cashmere they have it so this is called the aura shrug ls and this is what she looks like tag is kind of bothersome like they come all wrinkled and stuff but it's an easy tear away so you just pull that right out and the deal is done this is what the shrug looks like now i'll tell you this i feel like it's too short i know what you're gonna tell me first of all why buy a shrug what is the point of a shrug there is no functional purpose of this at the gym or anywhere else the only function to this is looking freaking cute that's it <laughs> it is a nice long sleeve it has some holes which is great and the back has the alphalete logo right up here but it's tonal so you can't see it the back is a little bit longer than the front should be putting this stuff on a hanger so i could show you but and so this little guy 
it, like I said before, it just it has no purpose. There is no purpose to it. It has no functional purpose. I keep saying purpose, I'm sorry. It has no functional purpose, but you look cute. And it is a cute, fashionable top to wear. You can match it, you can mix it up, you can put it under your winter clothing, anything, and take off your jacket when you get to the gym and look cute. However, I don't feel like it's breathable because it has the same brushed material as the leggings. So I feel like you might not be able to have this on and on a sweaty workout, you might need to take it off because there is no breathability on this. So let me just show you the black one. It's pretty much the same thing, right? Same size, size medium. And then the Alphalete logo. I feel like this one you can see better. The Alphalete logo right there. Very nice and tonal, no big deal. So let's try this on. There is something more I wanted to say about these shrugs. The only other shrug that I have is called technically a bolero, which I did review in my last Buff Bunny review, the Seven Deadly Sins collection. I will put that in a card somewhere here so you could click on it if you wanted to see it. You could skip right through it because I listed chapters. And I just wanted to show you the difference between that one and this one. That one's like a sweater type of shrug, bolero. And then this one is more like an active wear, like fitted kind of bolero or shrug. It's the same thing. So also, I don't know if you guys know Buff Bunny. Buff Bunny is another active wear line that is currently coming out with a shrug that looks just like this one. However, I did notice from the pictures, not because I have any uh, PR packages or anything like that. Like I said, I'm not affiliated with anyone, but theirs looks like it has more length to their shrug. So if you're interested in that, keep an eye out because when their launch comes out, I will be shopping their launch. Stick around, hit that notifications bell, subscribe so you can see when that comes out. I'll be reviewing it, giving you all the same details I'm giving you in this one and all the other videos. Let's try these on. Okay guys, and here is the shrug paired with the bra so that there's a white on white matchy matchy action here. This shrug reminds me a lot of their tops, their um, the Stratus tops from Alphalete. Very, very similar to that, if not identical to be honest with you, because they have the same issue. So I feel like these tops are not exactly made for women with long limbs. So obviously I'm five, seven and a half. I have to have long limbs. I have to have long arms. I have to have long legs. I have to have long fingers. I have long everything. Long and skinny. It's just, it's just me. That's, that's my build. That's me. So, and when it comes to these little things, these little um, thumb holes, it is very difficult for me to find one that doesn't feel like I'm stretching the hell out of the fabric. Right now I have all of this that is just extra. I am just pushing all of it down and then all of that tension is being built on this side of my thumb right here on this fabric i feel like eventually as a matter of fact there it is it's starting to rip. i don't know if you can see it but it is starting to rip right along that stitching because it's not a very reliable stitching the problem is that this fabric is not stretchy enough for people who have long limbs like me so in order for me to even get these on i have to stretch them out as much as possible mind you i'm wearing my watch if you took off your watch that might help same thing is happening they're not meant for long limb people <laughs> I felt like I could not wear it this way. Same thing happened to me with those Stratus tops. I could not wear them like this because I just feel like they're ripping slowly on the inside. So I'll just leave it normal for now. It's a shame because I do like the, I keep thinking cup holder look. Why am I thinking cup holder look? I like the f the look of the thumb holes. However, I realized that for this top, it is just not happening with me. So here is the shrug. I could call this, I'm gonna nickname this function left shrug because it has no function. It is clearly an item of fashion, fitness fashion and nothing else. This offers no utility whatsoever. It is just something cute to wear over your bra. I have noticed, for example, 
like now for the fall and the winter, a lot of people are wearing their jackets over this or their vests, or maybe they put something else on and then this. And if you don't see it because all of this is covered with a vest or a sweater or a top or something like that, and you just have this exposed, it does look cute. Like I said, fitness fashion. But utility, it has no utility. If you put your arms up, this is gonna move up. Uh, it does have a very wide open and this is how it looks in the back. It does show off your cute as hell bra in the back. However, that's all it's there for. That's that's the only purpose, purpose that it has. <laughs> it does feel tight. This is a medium. I don't know if I mentioned that because I, I just keep ranting. It feels tight right here, right um, on my elbow, on the opposite side of my elbow. So it feels tight there, kind of like in my bicep. I don't have much of a bicep, so it just feels kind of tight in some places. Maybe if I had gone up to a large, although I'm not sure because I feel like right here as I stand, this is perfect. But if I had a large, wouldn't there be like a lot more fabric over here? I would say true to size, guys. If you were gonna get this, stay true to size. It's a super cute look, especially the back. The back is like, oh my God, I'm sorry about the tag. Let's try on the black one because I have a black one too. Okay, and here we're trying the other bolero with a different bra this time. Time. So let's see if the situation continues with these little thumb holes. Same thing. Same thing, guys. It's not just one that's defective. It's me. I'm defective. <laughs> No, I'm not. It's just they don't make them long enough for people with long arms. So I don't know how I measure from shoulder to, I don't know, the inside of between my digits, between my index and thumb. I don't know how much I measure from here to there, but they're just not stretchy enough for people who potentially want to wear this in this fashion. And I've worn tons of other jackets, sweaters, not shrugs and boleros, but they've never had that. Pro I've never had that problem with anyone i feel like like they're gonna break if i keep them on like this just like just like that stratus so i guess i would prefer just to wear it normal and and just call it a day give up on that look because with this one from alpha Lee, it's just not gonna happen for me uh it is very cute with this i hate this ball oh my god <laughs> Side note, it is very cute like this with this bra. I'm sorry about the tag, I hate tags. And yeah, it, it's cute, it's just a little, it just has that issue. One thing I did not say that I didn't notice just now is that you have, your armpits are totally free. Okay, so next up we have the Core AirTech SS Crop T. So with this one, there was actually three different kinds of crops that came out. The Republic SS Crop T, which is available in four colors. This one, the Core AirTech SS Crop T, which is available in five colors, and the Wolfhead SS Crop T, which is just basically just a little wolf head here. No Alpha Elite logo. If you're into the more minimalist look and you don't want Alpha Elite written all across your chest, they have a little wolf head for you if you prefer that. Basically, I see it as a super big Alpha Elite logo, medium size Alpha Elite logo, and most minimal Alpha Elite logo. With me, I got the medium one. So I did get this shirt, two of them. I'm wearing the small now, and then I got a size medium because I didn't know which one I would like the fit of it better. So this is actually good because I can wear one and show one to you at the same time. So what I have here in my hand is medium. And what I'm wearing right now is a small. This material, is more of a breathable fabric. I'm gonna try to get this as close to you as you can so that you can see. You see how it has those little, looks like a little bit of a mesh, like kind of like almost like perforated holes. They are perforated holes. I can see the light through them, but they're very, very, very tiny. And it's like that pretty much all over. This is the sleeve. It basically does that all over the place. I love the details that Alpha Lee gives to their things. To be honest with you, it's those little things that make all the world of difference. You see this, this little alpha -lee, what is this like? It's like a fabric because on the back it's stitched in. So this little piping that says alpha -lee, I think that's so cool. And then check this out. It's kind of like, there's this other shirt that I had from alpha -lee, which was also a men's shirt, but it also had all the way down here at the end of the shirt, all the way around the end of it. Learn more, dream more, be more. 
that's what it says so that's their you know that's their slogan their company motto so that's written all alongside of it but basically the shirt is really lightweight super lightweight breathable this is the kind of crop that you can just throw over at the gym or even if you want to wear it out that's fine but mostly it's something to throw over at the gym and keep you nice and light and airy so as you work out so let's go ahead and try it on okay guys here we have this little crop and i love it i think it's so cute it is very soft soft as in not like brushed soft as in mesh it's meshy so it's like a soft nice breathable fabric that you can just throw on on top of your sports bra when you're working out this is ideal however i did get two sizes because i always size up to a medium and then sometimes i size up to a medium and tops and sometimes when i get my stuff i'm just like man i look frumpy <laughs> so so sometimes medium is not the right size sometimes small is not the right size this is the problem with you are in a bit of the in-between you're, you're in between both sizes and you can't really figure it out so here we have the top i think it looks super cute for the gym i think i'm gonna keep the small but i will still show you the medium this is how it looks in the back it's pretty simple i did notice that this color this would have been this is such a nice color this would have been really nice if it had come out in bras and leggings oh i would have gone for those but we do have that last collection i'll link that one too up here somewhere where they do have a clay color but it is not like this color and this color i love so the alpha Elite logo is not too big and it feels silicone but like a raised silicone see it how it bends so it's like a nice soft silicone-y i don't know if this would lift after a few washes but just in case just wash it inside out so very standard neckline it's not super suffocating it's pretty standard see the sleeves are pretty much midline Length, nothing special about it this is how it looks just on top i'm not doing anything special it's just falling in its natural way and then this is how it looks when you lift up your arms which you will see basically my breasts are stopping this fabric from going completely up but right now i have my arms up as high as they go and i'm not showing anything so it's not too bad i really like it i really like the color and i like the tool natalie with the with the black alpha elite logo this would look good with that pewter color also and then right now i'm wearing the flares in brown so they look good with that too this color just pretty much matches with a whole bunch of colors very soft and flowy open yeah that's it there's not much to say about this one but it's really nice let's try on the medium okay guys and here is the medium so it is just a little bit longer but more fabric all the way around so same thing the sleeves actually don't feel like they're any longer maybe just a little bit longer i will go with your true to size whatever size you usually go with if you're in between sizes it's really up to you this is why i show you my videos i'm in between i am a medium usually most of the time so i have i have experience and really not knowing what size to get sometimes so but this all depends on you whether you want it longer so that it almost sits on top of your waistband to cover up your lower section or if you want it more flowy basically or if you want it shorter i mean if you want it shorter not flowy but it is flowy it does it's not fitted to your body if you want an even shorter look you can always just bring it up to your sports bra like so in the front or in the back or heck you can do it all the way around if you want if this is the look you go for i think i'll be keeping the smaller one although i do like i just wish that it was just a little bit longer because i do like the way that this one is lengthwise but i don't like so much extra fabric i feel like i'm trying to make it like an oversized fit with this medium so this is how it looks in the back it is entirely up to you guys and here we have the aura flared pants you know basically this entire collection just says aura in front of a basic description or a flared pant or a strappy bra or a shrug or a shirt or this or the hat it's, it's so simple very little thought went into this collection so 
I'm being a bit brutal with Alphalete this time. Like, but this is why you guys are here, right? Honest opinions. Honest opinions. Sorry if you don't like it. You know, you're here for an honest opinion. This is it. This is my honest opinion. Here's the flared pack. I got it in brown. Not a fan of brown, but I got it anyway so you guys could see. It looks like this. That seam that goes along the bottom of the waist is simple. There's no top seam here at all. There are two seams that connect here on either side, but it's not, it's not invasive. It's not bad. It actually just continues on to the side of the pant and does not continue to the back. This is not a scrunch legging or flare pant at all. But can you imagine a scrunch legging, a scrunch amplify? Oh my God. Wow. My head is just, anyway. <laughs> So very nice V seam, very nice and long. So these are, let me see if I can see. Okay, so unbelievably enough, the PDF and the website don't say anything about the length of these flare pants. And I measured them myself, guys, for you, 32 inches. So 32 inches, and they say if in between they highly recommend for you to size up however i had these on and i am in between sizes but i'm in between sizes not medium and large i'm in between sizes small and medium mostly more medium than anything and i felt like medium was perfect for me so take it how you want it i guess i don't know i think that you would be okay with your true to size but if you're in between sizes it depends if you want more compression size down if you want not so much compression size up and that's that basically this one does have that seam that goes all the way around just like the leggings they all have that it seems to be like a type of contouring detail it doesn't do much really but it still looks cute and i actually like the color and i'm not like i said i'm not into browns at all so let's go ahead and try these on because i'm actually kind of excited i have heard bad things about these like a lot of the people that i've seen reviews and people that review have said that they didn't think that these were worth anything and you'll know my opinion once I try them on but it kind of puts me on the offensive when I hear people say that because it's just like it's just like with movies you know how people tell you oh uh, Lord of the Rings is a fantastic movie it's so freaking awesome you're gonna love it and you're like okay I'm gonna love it but then you go and you sit down and you're like eh, that was okay which shame on you that's basically what i'm trying to say it's like they criticize it for you but you have to have this physically in your hands in order to say yeah i like it or yeah i don't because what could be good for me is probably not good for you so sometimes we just have to pull the trigger and try it out and make the decision on our own so without further ado let's try this on okay guys so here we have the flared pant i almost said lagging this is actually the first of the bottoms that i'm trying on because i was very curious about these because i've heard kind of bad reviews about these when it comes to length so since i'm five seven and a half i wanted to give you my two cents basically on these i actually don't think that they're as bad as people say however let's go into the details first things first this is the brown color I forgot what it's called if I remember I'll write it down here somewhere so you guys can see it we have those two seams right here on the sides that pretty much join the rest of the contour that goes all the way down to the bottom of the legging but it goes to the bottom of the pant i'm sorry the flare pant but it goes behind to the point where it ends behind your foot but on the opposite side it almost looks like a large s going around so i feel like they're doing this in order to contour 
not just give you a plain pant. It doesn't really, I'm neither for it nor against it. It looks nice, it's decent. And this color is not that bad, although I'm not a fan of brown colors. But I do wanna say that this material is just so soft. Honestly, I feel like this is the softest material Alphalete has ever made. And if you're familiar with Alphalete, they have Alpha Lux. Honestly, Alpha Lux is not as soft as this is. I feel like this easily compares to, I would say the butter fabric in Buff Bunny, almost as soft as one of those Petula legging ones. I think it's a Sienna or Sierra. I always forget what it's called. I can never remember, but anyway. So as you can see, it is high-waisted, but not uber high-waisted. So here we have my belly button, and basically it is this much of my finger. So not super high-waisted, which is good. As I was sitting down, pretty much presenting all of the items that we have to review, I did notice that there was a little bit of a slide down as I was sitting down, but that's normal for any legging. That doesn't necessarily mean that if you go out or if you work out in these pants, you will have them sliding down. When I say sliding down, I just mean up here, not the whole pant. Okay, so I'm gonna do um, a little test here to see if you bend down, how much gaping you're getting. You're not getting much gaping, but it is rolling down a little bit, just a little bit. I do still have the tag on, I'm sorry, but the tag needs to be on in case I decide to return it. So not so bad. It is stretchy, stretchy as heck on the waistband, stretchy on the sides like this is super stretchy. Like I said, it is it is possible that it's likely to pill. However, we won't know how much pilling unless I actually wear these a lot. But being that it is a brushed fabric, it is possible that it will get pilling easily. Just be mindful of this. I don't feel like the seams that go down are too much. They are pretty simple. So I think that's a definite plus for them. And then, Moving on to the behind. I'm gonna pick this up so you guys can see it. This is how it looks. I'll get a little closer. This is how it looks in the back. The brown color, like I said before, the brown color is actually nice and I'm not a brown fan. I do have a nude seamless underwear on, so if it was easy to see the underwear line, I don't feel like it is. But if you wear something seamless, probably something nude and seamless underneath, you probably won't have too much issues. And the back has this beautiful V seam, very contouring. If you see it from different angles, you can see that it does indeed flatter the glutes. Okay, and we're gonna do a little bit of a squat test, but since my last video, I decided that our squat tests were gonna be a little bit different. We are gonna squat right now, and then as I edit the video, I'll give you like a little number uh, score, like from zero to five or zero to 10, how squat proof they are, because if not, I, I, even when I have my glasses on, I still can't see very well how squat proof or not they are. And then remember, I have a ring light around the camera, so it's gonna give a little bit of reflection, which not, may not necessarily mean that it is sheer, only that it is reflecting light. So let's do that. I feel like this is as good as any. Okay, so let's check out the camel toe area. I feel like there is a little bit, but I don't know yet. So let's see. Let's open and close. Usually I just open and close because when your legs close, that's usually when you can tell. There's a little bit. It's, it's kind of strange. It's like it's trying to form, but trying to clear out at the same time. So, if I had to rate it on zero to five, I would say about two and a half because it's there, but it's not so pronounced, you know? So just keep that in mind too. Okay, and here's the one thing that I was telling you guys that I cannot, I cannot follow other people's judgments until I have something myself and then I can judge it. 
Everyone was saying that these are super short. Keep in mind, I am five foot seven and a half. And can you see where they are? They're in a decent spot. I mean, yeah, when you walk around, they sprawl out as you walk, but they're not so bad. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try them on with a pair of sneakers because obviously we don't walk around all barefoot and it being barefoot and putting on a sneaker is two different things. So you add some height when you put on sneakers, obviously. So I'm gonna try on a pair of sneakers and they're gonna be these sneakers, my low top Converse. I was gonna say Nike Converse. My low top Converse All-Stars, these are my Chuck Taylors. And these are the lowest sneaker, as in not so much platform to it. I'm gonna try it on with these so that you guys can see how it looks with a flat shoe. So if you're planning on wearing like big, chunky, thick sneakers, the pants will look even shorter. So we're gonna try it on with these. This is how they look with a pair of flat shoes, totally flat. So if I walk around, they do move around but honestly they're not that bad i feel like a lot of people said that these were horrible and i do agree that these flare pants should come in a lot more sizes 100 percent, i agree with that they need to come out with more sizes sizes as in um in inseam sizes length so if there was a size longer like a a longer inseam size i would definitely go for that one because i like mine to be a little bit more draped down however these are not that bad so i cannot rate these bad because these are pretty good i would say they're pretty good they're not so bad at all mind you i'm five seven and a half i say it again so i feel like these are probably good for anyone that's about maybe five six and below if you're five six and you're okay with them being like this then these these might be for you. I'm gonna move around and stuff to see if this legging slides down at all. This I keep saying like legging these flare pants. I don't feel like there's any slide down. Usually when I work out, if they start drooping here at the crotch, usually that's a clear sign that they're sliding down but i don't feel like it's sliding down at all right now okay so here we have the aura short and this is five inches here we have another five inch short if you don't know me by now i'm not a huge fan of five inch shorts i would love a six inch short and that's it like six inch 6.5 inches maybe up to seven but i am not a huge fan of four inch shorts or five inch shorts i just feel like since i'm a tall person i usually have them rolling up because my thighs are thick and they start to roll up and that's an issue for me but here are the six inch shorts five inch shorts i'm sorry five inch shorts it's a very nice little short it does kind of taper in and it has two stitches going down and across to the back of the legging however they discontinue because at the back of that waistband it's not there anymore it does have that beautiful v seam the day that alpha or Buff Bunny or Petula or, or any of these brands that do V seams stop doing V seams that'll be the day I stop wearing them because without these seams there is no contouring no real contouring and this is just so flattering so why would you want to wear a pair of shorts or leggings that is not with a V seam because it's just not flattering <laughs> so simple standard waistband coming into the front just pretty much straight across there there's no dip down or anything like that over here on the side you'll see this better when i have them on but there is a little bit of a contour here like with this seam going down kind of like an s here or like a c more like a c than an s but yeah let's try these on and we shall see oh i almost forgot about the logo the alpha Elite logo is kind of like a little pressed on silicone very light soft it's not gonna get in your way and the best part about it is that it's tonal and let's try this on okay okay and here we have the five inch shorts it is nice and high-waisted but not too high-waisted 
Here's my belly button. It's not so high, so that's a good thing. It's a very simple short, not too high-waisted. Such a high-waisted short usually tends to roll down. I'm gonna go ahead and do some movements here to see how much these shorts roll, which I, uh, I feel them rolling. I feel them rolling. Bring up my knees. Bringing up your knees is usually the thing to do. So there they are. And this is where they should be. I'll back up a bit. They are stretchy, just as stretchy as the other ones, the flare pant and the legging. And as I bend down, I do not feel it sliding down like the other two did. And there is no gaping. So I feel like for sliding down purposes, this one stays up a little bit better. This is a medium, just like all the other bottoms. Let's go ahead and test for camel toe. I feel like it's gonna be the exact same thing. I feel like there's no way to avoid camel toe with this collection. Maybe not so much. Maybe this one's actually a little bit better. Hmm. You guys told me, do you see anything? I do feel like it does flatter the glutes just as much as the leggings. It does make the booty look great. The contour only goes up to here, obviously, because they're shorts. It only goes up to down here. It's almost like a C here. I would say the same thing goes for the cellulite with these as with the leggings. Basically, I don't even know what to say. It, it could show off cellulite. I don't see it here right now. Maybe when I look back at the video, I'll be able to see it better, but I don't see any cellulite now, but I feel like it, it would, it would not surprise me if it showed up because this is such a light material. It's a it's a light color. And then I was thinking pilling. You might have some pilling due to the fact that this is such a brushed fabric. The most brushed that I've seen Alpha Elite do. So keep that in mind. Also pet friendliness. I'm not sure about pet friendliness, but usually things that are brushed are not easy to get pet dander off of so keep that in mind here we have the aura legging so this is a full 26 inch aura legging it's the exact same thing as the shorts pretty much very soft material this is super brushed i did want to show you guys light colors because i know that with something like black it's very difficult to see and i don't have enough lighting in order to make it happen i can make my light brighter but it's just a standard ring light and they have their limitations i'm sorry but i will try to do better in the future for you guys 100 percent so standard b seam straight across i don't know if i mentioned anything about the the gusset but it's just simple and I believe it is extended yeah it's extended it's, it's almost not even like a gusset like that looks like just like a little track <laughs> it's yeah that's how it looks on the inside so yeah this gusset this non-existing gusset just basically goes all the way down the legs i know that alpha Lee is best known for their amplifies however this collection is not for the booty scrunching looking ladies people we do not have any scrunching effect here you may be able to manipulate it as best as you can by basically grabbing it and pulling it up but you're always kind of exposing yourself to camel toe there so just just a warning just you have to be careful with that so but let's try it on so that way you guys know what's going on with these all right and here we have the leggings which i have to say i'm so mad about because i already reviewed these and then i realized i didn't have audio going <laughs> ah, but anyway here we are 
reviewing them yet again. So these are super soft. They are nice and high waisted. Comes a little bit up above the belly button. Very, very stretchy material. Nice and brushed, very brushed fabric. I believe that these would not be so great if you have a cat or a dog, just because their pet fur might stick to the leggings a bit. So just be careful with that. It might not be as easy as just swiping it off. This is a great legging to so honestly just even lounge in. I would totally lounge in these, but we wear leggings mostly for the gym. So we do have this seam that goes, it just contours, it goes all all the way down it kind of crosses over to the glutes region which it is what it is and then it goes all the way down here I have to stand all the way over here follow my finger it follows this line it goes all the way down same thing on the other side also the length of these you can really make these long and they just don't move so if you're taller than myself even five seven and a half if you really wanted to have a full length legging you can definitely trust these i put them on and i stretch them out and they stay put like full length let's do a little camel toe test what do you guys think I honestly, I can't tell. I feel like I, even if I pull them down, they just kind of... I don't know, it, it's kind of in between. I don't see any camel toe. There is no evident line. However, it does kind of mold into me, like it's settling in there. So just be careful with that it's not that bad but when it comes to study light i honestly think that these might not be so study light friendly i'm trying to spot it here on my camera and i don't see any right now I don't see any right now, but I feel like you could still see it, like maybe when you least expect it. If that's a big thing for you, just keep that in mind. If, it, if it's not, then don't even worry about it. So let's do a squat test. I am wearing new underwear, new seamless thong, so you shouldn't see that much. Always stick to nude underwear. If you're going to the gym and you're worrying about prints and this and that, just stick to nude underwear and you should be fine. I would say it runs true to size. This is a medium and I don't feel like I should have sized down and I don't feel like I could have sized up. This is a perfect size for me. I just wish, you're gonna hate me for saying this, but I just wish I had gotten it in black instead because, I mean, pink bra, pink shorts, and pink leggings. If I had to return something or exchange something, it would be this with the black and then that way I can match the black with the shrug. Okay guys, we have reached the end of this magnificent review. I say magnificent kind of in a sarcastic way because I I'm honestly a little bit let down with this collection. Yes, I am let down. There's nothing I can say except shoot. The bra situation is such a missed opportunity for those of us who are larger chested. Okay, I understand some brands do this. Lululemon does this a lot. They have A to B sizes and then they have C to like triple D and so on and so forth. However, I don't think Alphalete is yet at the level of Lululemon to be doing these kinds of things. And yes, if you see me, you know what I'm talking about because you're not there yet. You're awesome. You're not there yet. Honestly, A to B sizes, okay, where's the C and above? Like, I feel like, I feel so left out. I feel, feel let down. What about us? 
What about C cups? What about D cups? E's, F's, G's. I don't even know what's the top of the scale, but what about the rest of us? So we have to fit our boobs into these itty bitty bras and then we can't have sexy bras like that white one with the sexy bag like it just it doesn't seem fair i feel like it's fine for a big brand to do when there's tons of other options for bigger breasted women heavier breasted women i don't know how to say it it's just bigger boobs okay like they're just not there yet in order to do this. So I, I'm let down. I'm let down by that. Uh, I do feel also let down by the shrugs, their boleros, whatever you might call them. They are just not, they're just not for me. I can't put my hands into the, I keep saying cup hold, thinking cup holders. I can't put my hands into the thumb holes. Basically cute look of having the, the cup holders. The <laughs> the thumb holes and having a little bit of fabric covering the top of your of the back of your hand that's a cute look and i can't take advantage of that with those shrugs slash boleros because they're just not long enough for me and i have longer limbs i have longer limbs i have bigger breasts hello <laughs> help me <laughs> help me so it's a no to that honestly it's a no to i'll be honest everything except for this top is going back the shorts five inches no thanks although they were very nice the leggings are great but this pink color mm, this porcelain color i'm not i'm not feeling it so maybe i exchange it and get a black one yes a black one however like i said in the beginning of this video just wait until black friday guys black friday is your safety net all of this stuff will be half off or maybe just below half off maybe like 30 percent off maybe they throw a discount code on there and it'll be even cheaper than that just just wait they will make a sale the flared pants are actually quite cute if they come up with one in the future that goes to 33 inches i will be down for buying those however for these i feel like i just need like a little bit more length this top however i love it i have decided to keep the small it is perfect it fits perfectly guys i hope this video was helpful to you i tried to give my best review on this one i feel like i was a little bit more cutthroat a little bit more brutal with this one but i feel like this aura collection just missed out completely a while back ago i have some pictures pictures of the owner teasing this collection so long ago like almost a year ago by now and he kept teasing it and it was this huge collection and it split between the last video that i did of alphalete the terra which i'll link up here so you guys can see that one and it's a split between the terra and this one the aura and i saw a lot of pictures and renderings of what it was supposed to be and i feel like this has it's it's not up to par. I feel like they completely missed a shot. It's just not up to my standards, unfortunately. So with that being said, I am sorry if this review was not for you. However, I just, I try to be honest with you guys, what fits me, how I like it. I am a medium sized person. I'm neither on the petite side or the plus side. I'm right smack in the middle. And I try to give this review for people who have a body shape like me. So something I may have forgotten to mention on my description down below you'll see all of my measurements so you can see how close we are to each other when it comes to weight height circumference and all of the above so if this video was helpful to you guys please consider giving it a like and maybe subscribing so that you can see more videos like these and much more in the future and turn on the notifications bell so that you can get notified when a new video comes up because there's always more videos on the way and with that being said said i will see you guys all later thank you so much for watching bye